You know, so many things about this family that yeah, I could open my mouth, I will lose thousands of subscribers. The is, on one side they believe in religion, on the other side they believe in witchcraft. Um, one day I heard of a conversation of shaman lighting the house. Welcome and welcome back to my channel guys. It is Pebbles Chat and the streets of Yabahanze and the YouTube village was busy last night. I am telling you, YouTube was just blowing up talking about this story that just broke on Instagram. So this morning before I head out to the office, I have to discuss it a little bit. My video will not be too long, but I'll just give you you know, a little background about um, this Joyce person that they're, they're talking about on YouTube. But before we get started, my drink of the day is a smoothie. I start my morning with a green smoothie after my morning meditation. And I will let you guys know in a clip here what I put in my smoothie. It is so yummy. Mmm. That could be a full meal. I love smoothies. So the streets are talking about Joyce's diary. Do you remember that lady who stayed with Mara's parents about five months ago? The streets are talking about her. Joyce visited the village like I think six months ago, six or five months ago. I am not sure. She stayed stayed with Marwa's parents, and I think she spent a lot of time in the villa, the new villa, with Marwa. Um, at that time, the villa was not complete, but she went there and hung out every single day just to make content. So just a little background about Joyce I think she's somewhere from Africa but she lives in the UK a lot of people from the UK seem to like traveling to Yabahanze village to visit Marwa her reason for visiting Marwa was to grow her YouTube channel now we all know that Joyce is not a spring chicken but she wanted to do YouTube full-time and she thought coming to the Yabahanze village, the YouTube village of uh, Kenya, would grow her channel. She ventured out. Marwa and the family accommodated her. I will insert a video here showing her and Marwa at his villa and her explaining her reason for visiting them and how she was happy to meet them and the great time she was having yada 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 yeah and she came from the uk to the village uh her video i think you've seen it on my youtube channel you know today tonight the video is going out yes, okay so probably your video if it's gonna go out tomorrow uh -huh. you'll have already seen it yes yes so guys we are here so what's the plan the plan is to come here and make friends. Yes. And I'm, I'm already here. I've made a lot of friends. Yeah. And I'm excited to be here. Okay. Guys, I'm really, really excited to be here. And yeah. I'm excited to see Marwa and his family. Yeah. His mother, his mother is my best friend now. Yes. Yeah, I've been watching them for years. And wow. How's the village so far for you? The village is amazing. People, look. The, the people. The job is now oh finishing. God, They're yes. going home now. The well, people yeah. are very hard working. It's true. Very, very hard working. You know, and sometimes I wonder why Africa we are poor and people are actually like hard, physically hard working. It's not. How, how do you feel meeting Mara for the first time, uh, especially on your channel? I'm now. excited, guys. Yeah. I'm excited because look, I was I've been watching Mara for years. Wow. And the fact that I'm standing in his presence, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel so honored. Yes. I feel so honored, and I'm not just standing in his presence. I'm sleeping in his house. Yeah. Sleeping in his house, yeah. eating yeah. on his table. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. 
So I'm really, really happy and I'm grateful. Thank you oh, for working. You actually said for... that. I remembered I was supposed to bring fruits today. I forgot. Fruits in the house a lot. No, new ones. Oh. Yeah, like avocado, not avocados. We are supposed to restock. Yeah. I forgot, you know, <laughs> and my guy didn't There is a me. lot of fruits still there. Yes. Yeah. Guys, please, please, guys, I'm in this video to just say, uh, please support our madam here. Uh -huh. She wants to do YouTube full time. Yeah. But you know, the struggle is really The hard. struggle is real. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't come here, yes. how long it would take me to even get 1K subscribers? Yes. yes. She spent a long time in the village. I think perhaps a month because I remember her staying with the parents and showing her morning routine. She was walking around the multi-million dollar villa with Davy. Um, you know, she was just hanging out with everybody, doing content because yeah, w why is she there? To create content. You know, I think I remember a video that Mawa asked her when she was at her, uh, his parents' house. He asked her, um, to be honest, tell the truth about staying at the parents' house, her dislikes and likes, just tell the honest to God truth. And she started laughing and then she talked about the wonderful time she had and how they treated her well. And then she said the negative, only negative she had what to talk about was the, the lack of running water inside the multi-million dollar house and the fact that she has to get up and go outside at night to find the outdoor latrine to use it if she wants to go to the bathroom so that was the only negative because she was not accustomed to that and i guess she also had to take a shower or wipe up herself because if you don't have a shower how are you supposed to shower they don't have a shower so she had to clean up herself in the outside bathroom and that was the only negative that i think she mentioned uh, on mawa's video i'm sorry i don't have that video for reference i would have to go way back to find it but if i find it i'll clip it here somewhere if i don't then just let's move on are you from the uk right yes i am so you've been staying here for... i live in the uk oh you live in the uk yes okay but yeah originally i'm from liberia okay and i'm a dutch citizen okay yeah so far how's been your life in the village yeah? oh god yes yes so good okay so peaceful i'm okay. so happy i'm happy yeah my the happiness that i feel right now yeah. i haven't felt this type of happiness in years wow. i'm not exaggerating i'm telling the truth guys what's so my name is joy yeah. i came from the uk but my channel is called Joyce's Diary. Joyce's Diary. Yeah, so it's J O Y S I S Diary. How has been your life here? I wanted to be honest. You know, actually, I'm asking this because you guys are coming to visit us in the village. Yes. So I want you guys to give me a very honest opinion. Oh my God. So this one will help me actually improve. Let's say there's something we are not putting in order. Yeah. For example, you have one toilet out there. I don't know if they even if it has a tissue paper. I don't yeah, know if it has. Yeah. So, so we are trying to see from your experience how we can improve so that when other visitors come, we are able to, you know. Okay. Yes. So. Yeah, you can start. Yes. So my only thing that I see yes. is the water issue. Yes. That's my thing that I see because. At night, there is toilet in the house, yes. and there is toilet out there. Yeah. So the toilet out there, I like to use it because it's out, it's far yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. But my don't. Yeah. yeah, it's full. So guys, our battery had a small problem. So you're saying like the big. So big as challenge. I was saying, the yeah. big challenge is yeah. water yeah. issue because yeah. there is no water in the house yet. Yes. So there is two toilets, one in the house and yeah. one is outside. Yeah. The one in the house, yeah. you know, is right next to the kitchen yeah. and it needs water okay. so that there, there won't be odor from the toilet yeah. through the house. So, you so can for this, uh, yeah, so for this we say I prefer to go outside, but then again, the outside when you toilet, squat, yeah. your legs. Guys, I'll take you to that toilet to see how it looks like. So when I sit yeah. on the outside toilet yeah. and I, Finish. Yes. So 
um as i said she just she rant about wonderful hospitality straight through every single video she rant about wonderful hospitality and how well she is treated they had fruits for her every single day i'm not sure if it was from her pocket that she spent money for all these food and fruits and you know i remember seeing bananas and all sorts of things on the table and the ugali that they made for her and she seemed quite happy and healthy and i remember joyce even went to the villa marwa's villa and her and Mawa's mom, Congrat's mom, had a splendid bath in the river. They were frolicking and playing with each other, um, leathering up each other. They had a special soap that they used in this. I don't know if it was the mud bath or if it was the river. I don't know what it was. I just remember seeing them in something that looked like a river and she was just going on and on about how she likes to, you know, take a bath in the river. I didn't mean, grow up in the village, but I used to go to the village to visit my grandmother. So I know all these things, you know. Hey guys, you see? That's so much I love you guys. Do you see the love? Hey, hey, come that mom, thank you. Hey, you see how we do it? That's how we do it. You see? That's how we do it. Hey, guys, guys, it's wonderful. It's really green. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. Hey, that's your assistant. Now, people, I'm Jamaican, and I say this all the time, and I haven't been back to Jamaica in a long time, but when my mother was alive, I used to go there quite frequently, and people would call me bougie. I don't care. Yeah, I am bougie sometimes, but people would call me bougie. People from there would call me bougie, and the reason being is the things I used to do when I lived there, and I moved away when I was just a kid. So I am not accustomed to a lot of things when I go back there, like the outside latrine. I am sorry. I'm not accustomed to that. I'm not using it. Wiping with um, grass or bush. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not using that. I need, I need tissue. I need all these hygienic things. I'm not drinking the water. If we don't have running water or whatever, and even if, even if we have running water, I will purchase bottled water. I am not taking a shower or bath or whatever in the river. My body is no longer accustomed to that. So that's a health risk for me. I am not doing those things. And people called me bougie because of that. 
but it's, it's not because I'm bougie. It's because I, I have common sense. I know that you just don't leave um, another country and go jump into the river in Jamaica because you can get sick. You can catch fungus. You can catch all sorts of things. You never know. It happens to some people. Some people it doesn't. But she was in the river frolicking with Marwa's mom. Congrats, mom. Joyce just seemed extremely happy in the villa. She seemed happy extremely happy she had no complaints at all then Joyce left the village and moved on to somewhere else I think she went to Nairobi to also create content there and hang out a little bit I, I, I don't know but she I don't know where in Nairobi she went maybe in some ghetto somewhere outside of Nairobi area the slum or whatever that a lot of people foreigners like to go who are making content and why do you go to these places i'm sorry you your body is not used to these types of environment but because of content you're pushing yourself into these areas just to make content so that's what joyce did she went to the slum somewhere in Nairobi or outside of Nairobi I think Nairobi is the city but outside there is some slum I saw Christmas list showed because he loved to show slums in um in in people's country so yeah she went to that slum outside there and then she went back to the UK she stopped posting on YouTube for about two months she disappeared from YouTube remember Joyce came to the village because she wanted to grow a YouTube channel and become a full-time youtuber just like Mawa but after she went back to, to uh, the UK she stopped posting completely so people were worried about you know what's going on with Joyce they haven't heard anything from Joyce and then Joyce made a video explaining why she was MIA missing in action and how she was sick, sick, extremely sick. And I will leave the video here, like I say, let her tell you guys, these are my receipts. I am not making this up. I don't come here with false narratives. I'm coming here with facts. I've been contacting a lot of people, that's because I'm sick, guys. I'm sick, you can hear from my voice, I'm sick. In fact, you know the reason why I was staying here away since I came? Because I was sick and my voice was even bad. Now it's getting it's better in Nairobi. So the three days I decided to make a little bit of content in Nairobi. Guys, I went some places to make content. The last place I went to make content, I don't want to, I don't want to be a spoiler here because the content is coming for you guys. When I came home, my body started to ache ache as if somebody beat me or something you know on my <laughs> i was sick guys my bones were all pinning my muscles were all pinning i started to have like real high fever shivering and i was throwing up like crazy and you know she after she made that video explaining to people what was going on with her also she said that her mental health um she was having issues with you know depression and mental health issues nobody knows what's going on in this woman's life she seemed a little off to me i'll be honest with you joyce was also known for using catchy clickbaits on her headings of her, her videos and some of her clickbaits are like finally exposing vvip guests and she used these clickbaits while she was staying at mawa's parents house finally telling the truth can't believe this happened to me at i am mawa villa ridiculous so those were some of the headings that this woman used while she was staying at their villa. Now, if someone's staying at my house and they start using that kind of clickbait, who are you going to attract to come and watch your videos? You're going to attract people like me, the reactors. You're also going to attract um, Mawa's loyal subscribers because they want to know what's going on because 
Ma were helping her to build her channel, but she has these clickbaits. But they were only clickbaits. Nobody talked about Joyce after she left. Her channel just, you know, kind of died down. Because, you know, once you leave that village, you really don't have content with Marwa. So his loyal subscribers may not watch you unless you have something extremely interesting and people decide, I like this person for who she is, not because of Marwa, so I am going to watch her. So after she left, she disappeared from the minds of the Yabahanze YouTubers and everybody in the Yabahanze village until Jamaican grandma passing. As I have mentioned in my other video, how Jamaican grandma visited the village, visited Ayamawa, stayed with him for a long time, and immediately after she got back to the UK, she died. And a lot of people are saying that this is very suspicious. Something is going on. Why are so many people getting sick and dying after leaving the village what's going on in the village so joyce has resurfaced after the incident with the jamaican grandma joyce resurfaced on instagram and made a long post and now everyone on the youtube street is just speculating trying to figure out what is Joyce talking about? What is Joyce trying to say? What is Joyce trying to tell people? What is this message? Why can't Joyce come out and say what she wants to say instead of trying to have people guess what she's trying to, <clears throat> to say? This message was so cryptic that a lot of the reactors picked it up and what do you expect listen you guys um they give a, us content so we're gonna pick it up and run with it you know and some pick it up in a negative way i don't know how to read this cryptic message because i am a straightforward person i am not into reading cryptic things just come out to my face and tell me exactly a b or c so here we go i'll read this message to you guys um from her Instagram and I will just post the clip here go to her Instagram I'm not sure if she delete the message but the message said from what I am seeing there will come a time when I will be left with no choice but to break my silence and tell my real experience remember I told you guys that she just sung praises about the Marwas and his parents and the village and the wonderful time she had in a lot of her videos even when she went back to the UK on her live she said how the people were wonderful to her I miss you guys so much I miss Nyabohansi my guys from Nyabohansi who all of you who are here on this live please tell everybody that I miss them so much so why is Joyce now coming out of the woodworks to post a cryptic message like this that is sending signals around the entire YouTube community to figure out what is this message trying to say? What is, what is Joyce trying to say? Um, she continues to say, hope people can learn from their mistakes and make some changes. Trying to remain loyal, but I am sick of feeling guilty. One more mysterious situation and I will break my silence. Now that is a threat. Joyce is threatening to spill the tea if something happens again. Meaning, a lot of people are thinking if there's another death, Joyce will tell her truth. Joyce, if you're watching this, stop with the subliminal messages. Just come out and say what you want to say. Just tell people. The thing that caught my attention was there were, there were a lot of people under her post on Instagram saying, you know, 
uh, just let the people know what's going on. Joyce, come out and talk. Save a life. Save a life. And she did not respond to any of it. So we don't know. We're, it's just a suspense now, right? Because she's not saying, I'm not speaking about the Marwads. I'm talking about something different. No, she's not doing that. And if she wasn't, wouldn't she come out and say it? Wouldn't she respond? Come on, people check their Instagram every day. She sees what people are saying. So it leave us to believe that she's talking about the Marwas, the village. Kenya, Yabahanze village, Villa Medellin, the clay bath. Congrats mom and congrats dad house. We don't know. We can only speculate. We can only speculate. So we're waiting for this news to break for Joyce to come out and let us know what is going on. It's only fair to everyone, including the Mawas, for her to speak her truth and, you know, stop pushing out this cryptic, these cryptic messages. You know, it's, 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 it's not fair to anyone. We need to know what is going on. And the re one of the reasons why a lot of people are speculating that she saw something is because, remember, Michelle Aponte had mentioned something that he saw in the Marwa's house, the parents' house, and that they believe in voodoo and they do witchcraft and stuff like that and so this is you know i mean that's his word against theirs i don't know if it's the truth that was just his words against theirs you know so many things about this family that yeah, i could open my mouth i will lose thousands of subscribers enemies on one side they believe on religion on the other side they believe in witchcraft um one day I heard of a conversation of shaman lighting the house, which is crazy. Imagine a guy accused me for practicing witchcraft. Some guy accused me for practicing witchcraft. Okay, I practice witchcraft, so what next? Okay. Some guy accused me for that. If this is the mentality you're going to come with it in my village, please don't come. Just watch me on YouTube. Marvo, Marvo. I know everything about your family. I know everything about your darkest secrets. But you clearly know nothing about me because only you care only about your ego. So guys, from today, I will have something we call, I, I don't know the name, where you have to sign. Like if we are doing videos, you are visiting my home. It has to be in an agreement that if you leave my home and you start talking bad things because you're punishing something I've worked hard for, man. I do you want me to say the truth about everything? Do you want me to tell why you're fighting inside the family? So if he put that out there on the streets already, people are putting two and two together, thinking that Joyce also saw things happening and this is what she's talking about. So we don't know, guys. We're only speculating right now, and we have to bring the, the dirt and the deets to you and, and, and let you also, you know, let me know what you think she's trying to tell people. Do you think that Joyce is talking about the Marwas or she's talking about something else that happens in her li happened in her life? Let me know in the comment section. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to my channel and share if you want to. And if you have any suggestions how I can become a better YouTuber or bring you better information, don't be afraid to let me know. As long as your comment is constructive criticism, I welcome them. Thank you. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one.